Today I'm going to show you how to easily turn AI images into fully 3D animated characters. This is an awesome way to bring AI images to life, and with the power of 3D softwares like Blender, we can add tons of different unique 3D effects. So let's get started. If you enjoyed this tutorial, consider subscribing for more, and if this video gets 1000 likes, I'll make a part 2 diving deeper into 3D animated AI. All you need to start is an AI image generator. I'm going to use Midjourney for this, I'll leave a link to that below. And of course, for the 3D parts, you're going to need Blender, which you can download for free. And again, link to that will be in the description. This method works best with cartoony, simple character design. So for my prompt, I'm going to type in Drake Vinyl Toy. So you can get some really great looking results with Midjourney. But let's go in and refine the prompt to get the best possible starting point for our animation. This time, I'm going to type in Drake Vinyl Toy, forward perspective, T-pose, symmetrical. You want to pick the result that has a forward perspective like this one, where you can see their arms, their hands, their legs. Go ahead and upscale the image that you like and save it. Now let's go and turn this AI image into a 3D model. To do this, I'm going to use this free website called Monster Mash. All you have to do is load in an image template like this. Then you can draw around the outline of what you want to turn 3D. Once you've done that, you can click this inflate button and we have a simple 3D object from our image. Let's go up to export and export this out as an OBJ. To rig and animate the 3D model, I'm going to go over to Mixmo.com. All I have to do is sign in and then upload the OBJ model that we just got from Monster Mesh. Go ahead and click next and set the target points for the rig. This depends on the results from your AI image. You may have to uncheck symmetrical, but it should still work fine and generate your 3D rig. If it doesn't go through, go back and try and get a better AI image, again using the keywords forward perspective, T-pose, and symmetrical. Once you've done that, go ahead and let the algorithm process the rig, and you should get something like this. Now we can look through the Mixamo library and choose any animation that we want for our character. It can definitely look a little bit janky, but for these being inflated balloon meshes, they're still kind of smooth with it. Once you have the animation you like, go ahead and click export and then save it. We can bring that back into Blender by going up to File, Import, FBX. If you're not seeing that texture, change the timeline view to the shader editor view. Then you can click new to create a new material. Scroll over to that node and just drag over from the base color and type in image texture. From there, you can load in the texture that exported out from Monster Mash. And now we can see our animated model. Now the only issue here is we have this double sided texture. So we can fix this up with texture painting. I'm going to open up the folder where I originally saved the image and the OBJ file. I'm going to select the image texture file and I'm going to click Control C and Control V just to duplicate that file. Let's go ahead and rename this to texture back. Then in Blender, I'm just going to go and look at the back of the model. I'm going to click tab to go into edit mode and then just use my selection box to select all of the faces on the back. Let's go over to the material properties here and click to create a new material. And then with everything still selected, click assign to that new material. On that new material, just go over to the shader editor and load in that texture back image into the base color. That way we've separated the original texture for the front and a second texture which we can alter for the back. Now we can click over to the texture paint workspace to clean up the back of our model. Make sure you click up here and select the texture back image so that you're not editing anything on the front of the model. Then go in and use the smudge tool, the brush tool, and the clone stamp tool to clean up those edges. The smudge tool and the brush tool are pretty self-explanatory. If you want to use the clone stamp tool, all you have to do is hold down control and click on what you'd like the clone stamp, and you can draw that on wherever you want. You don't have to be perfect here unless you really want some detailed shots from the side or the back. Once you're satisfied, super important step here, make sure you always click and save changes to the texture. Now we can go back to the normal layout mode and we have a much cleaner result. From here, all you need to do is add lights and a camera and then render out your animation. If you're stuck on anything I've shown, I have a free Learn Blender for Beginners course. I'll link that down in the description. You can also check out the Director 3D plugin I've been showing in all these clips. It's stocked full of templates, effects, lighting presets, animations, and more. I use Director 3D to easily load in a studio backdrop, some preset lighting, and I messed around with some effects. Proximity scatter, I parented that to the left foot bone in this example so that every time he would step with the left foot, it would pop up these spheres. And some other things like flying money, car, smoke, barbed wire effects in the other examples that I've shown.
And that's about it. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like, comment, subscribe. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'll see you guys in the next one.